What's up, my beautiful peoples? <laughs> Welcome to another episode of the Pastry Beer Podcast. I'm your host, Winston Murdoch. And y'all know it's your co-host, Talisa Baker. What's up, Talisa? How you doing? I'm fine. I'm just chilling. <laughs> you are. So every time I ask you a random question, you pause like you don't know what to say. <laughs> you don't know if you're okay or not? I'm okay. See, you paused again. You got to be quicker than that. Got to be quicker. I'm going to ask you again. How you do? How how you doing? I'm doing fine, Winston. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. So, we like to uh, thank you again, guys. This is another day. It's another podcast. And we're loving it. We're having fun. Uh, life is beautiful. I don't know about you, Telly. It really is. Yeah. Life is beautiful. <laughs> life is really beautiful. I got to enjoy it. People, you got to go out more, eat more food. Uh... You know, try new cuisines. Mm -hmm. You know, I hope somebody uh, the, listen for who listened to a uh, previous podcast. Surround yourself with positivity. Right, that's right. That's a good thing. Right, yeah. that's very important. And, um, you know, for all the people who listen to previous podcasts, I uh, hope that you uh, learned something. You know what I mean? Because that's what we aim to do. We aim to not just entertain. We want to educate. So... It's a vibe, as Talisa would say. It's a whole it's vibe. a whole vibe. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so I saw that you posted something on your Instagram the other day. Uh, was it your Instagram or your WhatsApp? I saw that you was posting about um, you went out for uh, one meal one night and you had some food trucks, food truck food. Oh yeah. And I was mm -hmm. like, wow, oh she going outside, outside. You know yeah. what I mean? So, what was that experience like? It was really good, being that. It was my first ever food truck experience. I was really excited. It was really good. Right. I think so, what the, I saw you put up some tacos. Yeah. You oh know, my that's my thing. You can't, can't you not, can't you not <laughs> just, you know, just try something different for a change? No. Listen. Yes. What? I like tacos. So, that's my thing. So where, where did you go to get this food? Miami. Oh, Miami. Yeah, I don't right. remember exactly like right, right. the place, but yeah. But Miami is really big on um on food truck. Oh, for real? Like yeah, cuz um like here sometimes uh well, throughout Florida, well, almost all of the United States is like mm -hmm. that. And I see that now it's getting pretty popular outside of the United States. Like when you go to like in the Caribbean. Yeah, you it, see food trucks. Right, like food trucks and mm -hmm. stuff like that and it's getting super popular and it's something that I'm um i'm not knowledgeable a lot about it because you know it's not i've never worked on a food truck mm. you know what i mean but mm -hmm. and i have tried a couple of um food trucks they have this uh this beautiful thing that they do where like every city in uh like let's say like um uh, miami the state? Mm -hmm. no, no no i mean like in miami mm -hmm. all right for instance like in fort lauderdale yeah they have like uh oakland park and uh there's different areas mm -hmm. okay so sometimes they have like food truck festivals and they're not like the festivals you think like on the first friday you have like 20 trucks and they'll park they'll yeah they park up in a mm -hmm. parking lot like in a park yeah and, and everybody just go and, and purchase yeah so people walk around they could sit in the park have oh. like it's like a picnic vibe you know mm -hmm. what i mean and like this friday they'll be here next week they'll be in miami you know what i mean so, so it's like it's like a vibe to really bring uh uh, uh you know the food trucks together oh so is this sorry to cut you but is this normally a, a early thing or a late thing well well sometimes um it, it, i wouldn't say i'm not sure because i only been to tw two of them so i think it's like from 12 to 12 oh for real yes yeah, so mm -hmm. You can go in the daytime and like i'm saying it's it's you know food trucks is very popular down here and um they have all type of food so i guess from 12 in the morning i mean from 12 in the afternoon to 12 at night maybe earlier i'm not sure i'm not gonna say whatever the time is but i know it's more than eight hours oh yeah and it's a beautiful experience like when you go out there you, you got the kids sometimes depending on the area mm -hmm. i went to one in um nor um 183rd which is like miami gardens that's yeah. in miami mm -hmm. and they uh they have this uh park that they did it and uh it was it's really nice sometimes they charge you an entry fee sometimes it's free sometimes like the the city 
would pay for it so like that one i think the city of miami paid for it and and you yeah. just go there and get food no you don't get the oh. food you get to go in <laughs> and then another time i went to another one and you had to pay to go in like it's like oh. two dollars or something like that and you go inside and there's like thir- 30 trucks so you pay to go in then yeah. you buy food and then you buy food i'd never what it's just two dollars they're not charging like no no ridiculous money but it was really really nice like i said it's a lot of trucks this this the particular park we went to they had um like uh picnic benches oh so you paying two dollar for seating right and and um they had uh music playing oh so it was a vibe it was a vibe and you know some of these food trucks that they have Mm -hmm. they 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 doped out like they be having tvs on them where you can watch tvs they have uh you know yeah they set up like little game areas they got their own music some game areas yeah that's what what i'm saying this this one that i went to you paid to go in oh and that's a part of it because there's a city in miami that put it on oh so it's like you pay the two dollar and i'm not saying it's exactly two dollars i was just giving yeah we're just using that example Mm -hmm. like you pay the two dollars and you go in and yeah you just you you can like the activities are there for you right it's something to do and normally they do it on a friday oh the ones that i've been to is on a Mm -hmm. friday Mm -hmm. so i i like going there because sometimes like i said i like to experience new cultures and stuff and most of the food trucks are like from like guatemala or from uh honduras type of cuisine right so the food is from the country you know what i Mm -hmm. mean you have like cuban and jamaican yeah you know what i mean so there's a lot of oh you normally have like jamaican separate or it's like a a caribbean type of food truck no 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 well you have that's what i'm saying to you like it's like different countries Mm -hmm. and people who are let's say for instance if you decide to do a food truck what type of food would you serve you're gonna serve the food that you know yeah which is jamaican Mm -hmm. food so that's what i'm saying so all the most of the food trucks and then then not uh blah, blah. that's not only food it's like dessert so you have like a ice cream truck oh you know i saw this ice cream food truck one time that had like t- <laughs> had like some 20 inch rims on there and oh, the rims were spinning when the, when the car stopped mm. which was dope and they had like oh it was really sexy <laughs> but um that was a couple of years ago i saw that I, I saw that but um yeah the food truck scene is is pretty beautiful and when i saw you made that post i was thinking to myself like wow that must be a great experience for you because like i said there's a lot of people that are skeptic about eating from food trucks yeah they think it's not sanitary you know I mean? yeah. right 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 and you, <laughs> they don't think they don't think that the food food truck is is following the safety guidelines for or, food safety. Or, or they have like hot water and stuff right 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 yeah. but, but but to be surprising or to 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 educate some people actually most of these food trucks are equipped with everything that is necessary for a regular kitchen because a food truck technically is a mobile kitchen yeah you know what i mean mm-hmm. and and it's a great investment if you ask me because guess what if you have a brick and mortar let's say you're cooking uh uh italian food mm-hmm. and you have a brick and mortar in fort lauderdale it will be just in fort lauderdale so you're only catering <laughs> to the people in fort lauderdale or you know the I mean? persons coming to fort lauderdale right right but you have a, a food truck you can go wherever the party anywhere is. you know yeah. what i mean and 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 you know there's food trucks that are turning over a lot of money a month mm-hmm. you know what i mean mm-hmm. and then you find that a lot of the restaurants are also having food trucks you know what i mean because there's this um there's this uh man i can't remember the name there's this company that they make egg rolls yeah but you know what egg roll right yeah yeah, I know, yeah, you're like yeah, Chinese food too. <laughs> yeah she likes Chinese food to everybody yeah so, i so, know what's egg roll. all right so the egg roll what this guy does is he makes egg rolls but he put like tr- not the traditional stuff you know you go to the chinese store you get a cream cheese is no it? that's not that's not the egg roll that's um a, oh ragu. That, i think that's a I, that's something else you talk about the egg roll is the one with the cabbage and yeah stuff the chinese food right right so what he does is he uh makes like macaroni and cheese and, and, and put in the right egg. he makes like a chicken sandwich mm-hmm. but it's an egg roll so whatever you would put on chicken sandwich, you put it in an egg roll and fry it. Wow. Yeah, there's one Whoa. right down the street. Yeah, and he has a brick and mortar. Wow. And a brick and mortar, people, for the people who don't know, a brick and mortar is a store. It's a location. <laughs> Just like the word says brick and mortar. It's, it's like a building. actual building. <laughs> right. But I was saying that this guy has a brick and mortar, but he also has like two or three 
trucks food trucks so he's making money in all aspects so if you're not coming to his restaurant to eat oh he'll come to you with go, his he's, truck he's gonna come to you with his truck mm. and 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 this is a great concept and then you know i think that most people who are starting out in um food industry or like a you know restaurant they always try to do a, a start in kitchen or a test kitchen so they mm -hmm. test their concept you know what i mean oh to see if it will work right to see if it works see how people respond to it oh because it's very expensive to uh to have a brick and mortar to have a store mm -hmm. you know what i mean because first of all you, the zone in you have to be in the zone you have to find a location that you're gonna have traffic mm -hmm. you know what i mean so there's a lot of things to think about when you're doing before getting exactly uh, so you want to build your brand up by having a food truck letting people taste your food because when you have the food truck you can travel around and go to different parts of where whatever city you're in mm -hmm. you know have people and then you build a following and once you build a following you have enough people talking about your food then you that's when you start looking at brick and mortar oh right 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 mm -hmm. but but one of the things uh, what the hell is that yeah but one of the things that you um you um need to know that about food trucks are like i was talking about the sanitary part of it mm -hmm. if you for you to get a license for the food truck you have to um pretty much have a prep kitchen so whatever food that you're serving oh on the food yeah truck, you have to to prep it first yeah it has to be prepped somewhere else yeah you know what i mean mm -hmm. and that's that's one of the main main things most food trucks don't do that what prep they, before what they do is they prep from home oh but some of them will have because they have this thing they call um uh like a community kitchen mm. so this is like a person has a, a kitchen with all equipment mm -hmm. and, and they just pay to use it and you pay a monthly subscription subscription fee or like yeah so you pay a, every month Oh, you just Let's pay say like charge 50 you. bucks? No, nah, it's way more than that. Because I was just, you right, know, right, giving right, an yeah. example. So let's say about 300 mm -hmm. a month. Mm -hmm. And it's based on times. So if, if for 300 bucks, you would get 10 hours for the month. And for, uh, let's say, for not, if you're doing more catering and you need more time in the kitchen, mm -hmm. you would get a bigger package. Oh, so you would pay more? Yeah, so you pay more. So, like I'm saying, most of the most of the food trucks they ha they have to get one of those in order to, for them to get the license. Oh, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Because, like I'm saying, it's really difficult for you to prep because this this, this workspace is this so small. small. Mm -hmm. Now, now, when if you've ever seen a food truck before, let me just uh, piggyback. Let me just yeah. jump over here for a second. Go over. If you ever seen a food truck before, right? The food trucks have most food trucks. So let me, let's let's start off by talking about. Let's start off by talking about the type of uh, vehicles they use for food trucks, right? So they have like the first, the com most common one is like a the truck version. It's almost like a UPS type truck. And if you don't know what that is, you could Google it. The UPS, the UPS type trucks are very common for food trucks. That's the most popular one. Mm -hmm. We also have food trailers. So the trailer is uh. You can also google that but a uh, food trailer you hook it on you hook it up to the back of your truck a pickup truck or a uh, car well you definitely need a pickup truck yeah. if you're gonna get a big one but so, you have small ones though you know what i mean mm -hmm. so you hook it on to your, your pickup truck and you pull it to wherever you're going you feel me mm -hmm. and that's another version of them a they, food truck can also be a cargo van yeah so a like cargo a van one. like a nissan uh what's that one called i forgot the name of it but uh let's see what the cargo van would look like um yeah you could probably google that it's like i'm trying to think of a company that used those type of vehicles more mostly but anyways yeah so those are the common type of um vehicles they use mm -hmm. for food trucks they also use they also use you know you know like what? um like a rv but mm -hmm. it's like a trailer oh yeah like the trailer part right something yeah. similar to some people even convert like school buses into into food trucks oh you know what i mean they have like, i've never seen that though yeah, but yeah they, they they have a couple of them they also mm -hmm. do like tractor trailers into food trucks you know mm -hmm. what i mean like that bigger companies they do stuff like that you know 
a lot of the big companies like um chick-fil-a and all they have food trucks you know but it's not set up like the typical food truck they oh, have so like, once in a while they go out or nah they have they, they those trucks um pretty much what they do is like if they have a big event going on let's say in uh what they call that like an arena mm-hmm. they, they go there go out. right but they go there and they set it up where he don't it it, it don't look like a food truck oh, but for real? yeah because they cover the wheels they have parts that come and they can set up chairs and stuff mm-hmm. yeah man it's really oh. beautiful when they put those things together mm-hmm. and um i must add for the listeners you know a food truck is a large motorized vehicle that is set up for right set up for what serving food or selling food right that's for people who don't understand what we're talking about when we say food truck uh some people like <laughs> you know the funniest thing is uh like when you go down to downtown miami mm-hmm. like where the workers like a lot of uh construction yeah. sites are you would find like f-150 or f-350s which are like some big trucks mm-hmm. big pickup trucks mm-hmm. and then they have those they call them food carts oh which, which is another one they have food carts and then they have those other trucks that it, it's like they build a uh a little back compartment on it and it's set up to have like food and they sell like snacks and stuff oh, there. Yeah. just snacks yeah like snacks they sometimes they have food on there but oh. you can it's more of something that you stand outside so there's mm-hmm. like you know if so you get like, like a food quick. truck food truck somebody be inside you have a like okay so let's break it down most food trucks right yeah they have a fryer mm-hmm. uh they have a wash sink mm-hmm. some of them have a fridge some of them have a freezer a flat top these are these are choices yeah, that grill. you can have flat or, a flat gr- flat grill or flat top however mm-hmm. you want to call it some may have a broiler depending on the menu microwave you know I mean? a microwave um they also may have a grill oh we said grill stove no, yeah well like a yeah stove yeah what i was saying the grill like the grill would gives the marks oh like stuff like that oh yeah they mm-hmm. some of them come with that and that's the food truck now the food cart would not really i know you know i left something out they also have like a salad station which is like where they prep their veggies and stuff like that mm-hmm. yeah that's a major part of having a food truck but the one that i was talking about it is almost similar to a food cart so the person would stand on the outside and they have pre-cooked food that is stored in a section oh and they just and give it and give it to, the customer. it to the customer oh, mm-hmm. you know but that one is a little bit more on on the not so sanitary side if you ask me because um you know there's not a wash sink that you know to or wash if you're looking at the temperature of right the storage side. of the food and temperature because yeah. like like the ones that i'm telling you when i go around to the the, the construction site mm-hmm. they normally just have like cookies and breads and stuff like that and then they'll have some food that is cooked and then on the other side they'll have like you know somebody would throw some ice and just put some juice on the ice so keep it oh cool. right 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 so it's not uh to me it don't look <laughs> yeah you know 100 I mean? it don't 100% look like, percent like, I, like i never had food from it but i ain't gonna lie to you i think i made about like snacks you know what i mean like chips and juice but i never had the food that they have on there oh because i don't know for some it, it's just it's just not not appealing mm. you know what i mean it's not appealing but you know it, it is what it is picky, man everybody picky eaters though no nah, it's not like. really picky eaters you know but at the end of the day if you want a work site you, you you're gonna have you're gonna you, hungry right you're gonna you're gonna get what you can get you know yeah what I mean? and and that's one of the greatest thing about it and more than likely it it's affordable definitely yeah, def- so. it's definitely affordable most so. people are thinking about affordability cost, when they cost. right when they doing anything you know cost what I mean? control and all of that right right and sometimes you don't have the time to go to a fast food joint or you know a mom and pop restaurant mm-hmm, go too. Stand in you line. Know, just having the the flexibility of somebody driving up to you to give you mm-hmm. food and this is why the whole culture of um delivery is so popular because a lot mm-hmm. of people want food but they don't you know let's say you don't have a car you know you can you can you can get the food delivered to you yeah you, you can know? easily order it online and right right and have it delivered to your house but food trucks are pretty um are pretty dope man and i think i thought about sometimes this having my own food truck and and 
you know, doing some really authentic Caribbean food. Oh, you would really want to go into it? Oh, yeah. Why not? I, I, I don't think it would be something that I do every day. Because when you think about it, like a, a food truck is pretty expensive. Mm-hmm. Well, to maintain or? No, nah, man. What? Just to buy it. Oh. Like a food truck is average between 35000 to to 100000 Oh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, you know, you can make an average but, of $5,000, between two and $5,000 a month if you're doing good. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And that's not profit. That's like, you know, what do they call it? Net gross, whatever. You know what I mean? <laughs> I think it's net. <laughs> Winter just said net gross, net whatever. Over, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but like I'm saying, you know, it's 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 a big investment. But but I guess, well, um, making this investment or investing in this, like it will turn over in the future. If you're so. committed. Well, if you're committed, if you're spending this type of money, why not be committed though? No, no, no. But but like for me, you know, I would do a food truck. On, on let what? me explain. <laughs> I would I would buy a food a food truck, but I wouldn't want to have to do a food cook every day on it. Mm. But maybe you won't have to be the person to cook. You can well, be like, yeah, that's a different the one supervising everything. Right, right, right. right. If you get what I'm saying, I understand what you're saying, but mm-hmm. it's just like I always said, it's just something that I I thought about, mm-hmm. and you know, I just love the flexibility of it. So if something is, let's say you decide that you want to go to West Palm Beach today, I think yeah. you have to get a permit to do that. But or to go yeah. and go yeah, sell food. I think you're like limited to whatever area you can sell in. Oh, because it's it you know you have to get um, license and all of that from the do. state, right? So you're not going to just pop up anywhere and and, and you know and and do what you want to do. That's not how it works. You know what I mean? Oh, At least okay. not in America. Oh, right, right, right. And then you have to get permission from wherever you're going to park the truck because you can't just park anywhere. Mm. You know what I mean? So there's mm-hmm. a whole bunch of stuff that comes with owning a food truck. You know what I mean? Oh. But just like everything else in life, man, you just got to figure it out as you go along. Yeah, you and be persistent like yeah. you want it. What do you think? Would you want a food truck? I don't think I'd want to go into that. I just feel like that would be a lot for me personally. Mm-hmm. And I just wouldn't do that. No? Nah. So what would you be interested in doing then in like in the food aspect? If you could think about anything. I think. What about like a, I know you're into baking. Yeah, so, so, a, so I, I just do like a bakery or something. Right, right, right. So what do you, we could probably do a bakery as a food, a food truck. truck. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? I like, get what you're saying. Like, like if you realize now, uh, social media is important when it comes to like mm-hmm. promoting your business. Yeah. And you're realizing that like flexibility is important. Like now, Mm -hmm. if you have a food truck, you'd be making mad money. If if you're in the right area, like you can move yourself around versus if, like for instance, when you went out and had that um the taco, taco, Mm -hmm. was it was it busy? Was it you know what I mean? When did you go at night? Yeah, I went in the evening, closer to the oh, close to dusk. Right, Mm -hmm. right, right. And it wasn't super busy, no. No, it wasn't super busy, but you have one and two persons coming up. Right, 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 yeah. right. Yeah, but um, like I said, man, sometimes it can be a benefit because, like, if you live in an area where there's a lot of activities, like for instance, there's a lot of festivals, there's a lot of uh, outgoing events, then it would be a good investment because you can cons- consistently make money mm-hmm. because you have like various places you can go to make money. You yeah. Know what I mean. Like, for instance, what I was telling you earlier about how they have, like, a section every Friday for food trucks. You know what I mean? And you have a lot Mm -hmm. of people who are committed to it. Like, on Fridays, they get off work. They get their kids. Yeah, they drive to the park. You know Mm -hmm. what I mean? They walk around and and they buy food. And it's not only food trucks over there. You have, like, people just selling random stuff. It's almost like a farmer's market. I don't want to experience that, though. Like, other from, you know, just going up to... Once. a couple no right, it right. wasn't one i went to a couple of food trucks instead of just you know going and buying from the food trucks i'd want to be in that environment right right and yeah. they're they're in close vicinities you know what i mean like i'm saying it's just like a yeah. a bunch of them right beside and, each other. and then the great thing about it is there's the diversity in the food trucks that you see at these mm-hmm. events like you know what I mean? You're not just going to go there and see everybody doing barbecue. Yeah, so you know is, what? You're getting a, different cuisines and all of that. Which is a great, which is a big, 
big i think that's one of the biggest type of um food trucks barbecue? concepts yeah oh barbecue um mm-hmm. if you're doing like southern food no that's I've, another I've thing. even seen like a mix you know i'm into oh my mexican. gosh you're gonna say mexican again <laughs> mexican food I, I wonder if you realize that there's other cultures than me- other than mexican culture. listen when when i try you know another culture maybe that would be you know my type of food but for now i'm saying i'm into mexican food so yeah, you need to get jesus in your life that's what you need <laughs> it's crazy so, that just every time we have a podcast the same thing you tell us about mexico anyways food. so you know yes what? guys yes guys yeah so you see the mexican food truck i think we even have or there is you know food truck that is only doing mac and cheese Oh yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like most people, when they when they start a food truck, they do comfort food. That, mm-hmm. You know, like so mac and cheese is comfort fried. food, fried chicken. Mm-hmm. You know, ribs is comfort food. Mm-hmm. You have um, barbecue, as you said. Yeah, the barbecue is pretty popular. It's a very popular mm-hmm. one. Um, you have, uh, you know, this big concept now empanadas. Oh, you know, empanadas is similar to uh, patty, a Jamaican patty. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Um, the they have like i'm saying those are the main ones that you'll see but then you also have like some others some others that are like we said earlier you have for example you have this this food truck the name is luke's lobster oh yeah that's big too yeah. lobster lobster okay you remember like when we seafood? went you remember when we went to that um, mall over there in aventura like i was talking yeah about? Mm-hmm. all right you remember that sh- that little shack thing that you saw you was like oh what's that and i told you oh they sell lobster over there mm-hmm. and i was yeah. explaining to you that when, Why? You go, when you go to boston or maine mm-hmm. it's like a fisher's market that's how they look oh, that's why so they that's set why it up the, like that the place is right lobster is a big thing up north mm. so if you go to like new york or maine or um connecticut those areas you find there is a lot of seafood mm-hmm right yeah oh for real it's pretty big it's just like when you go to key west Mm -hmm. there's a lot of seafood down there you know what i mean oh it's super big it's super popular seafood oh um you have restaurants down there that are just seafood restaurants Mm. because the concept of the fact that you you're right on the ocean Ocean, yeah you're telling people you know what i mean you could sell fresh seafood Seafood, you know versus somebody who lives in new york and say fresh seafood where are you getting it from yeah the new york it's like you bring it (laughs) you You cannot tell me that you're getting fresh seafood and you live 30 fuck oh my god i almost cursed (laughs) and you live goddamn 300 miles from the ocean that is not that is not that is not no possible that is not no fresh seafood or whatever must be on ice you know what i mean Frozen. right 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 so you know like i said the whole concept of food truck is is pretty it's pretty dope man and you said the, the and it's the, pretty straightforward forward right and Almost you said the, the 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 you said the lobster what's the name of the company? luke's lobster city loops lo- luke's man, I don't lobster. Say loops lobster <laughs> luke's Lob- lobster city right and right. it's a big thing in in new york right 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 and what are you what are the ones you are uh, you were found out about uh, I had this one, um, Mac Mart. Mac Mart? Yeah, Mac Mart in Philadelphia. Right. And. Right, right, I'm listening. Yeah, Mac Mart in Philadelphia. Mm-hmm. And this I don't want cinnamon snail. Cinnamon snail? Yeah. It's in New York as well. It's a really popular one. Oh, I never yeah. heard of I actually never heard about those before. Oh, for real? I think I heard about the lobster one, but never heard about them other ones. I heard about this really crazy one. Like the the name is is kind of weird. It's called Oink and Moo Barbecue. Oh, so the Oink is for the pig. The pig and the Moo is for the. So you see, so, but that's popular, and that's that's what I like about. I don't think you know. I don't think I could go to that food truck. And why not? It's playful. Like, the name is playful. I don't. I don't think. I don't think I could. Do you that. see some of these food trucks, and so they wrap them. They wrap them with really like, colorful, really, bright, bright lights and all of that. Exactly. So, so that's the concept of so owning you know, a food truck. It's, it's drawing customers. Yeah. But I'm saying like the name is really weird. Oink 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 oink. oink. Yeah, I couldn't. I don't think that 
I could go and you know stand up and say, "Can I have some pork?" You know, or, yeah, hold up. I can bet crazy. you. I can bet you. And if you Google it, Google it right now. Google I can what? bet the oink and, and moon. Mm-hmm. Google a menu and let's see what the because you know a lot of these um food trucks they name their dishes crazy like they be calling them all they be making them names like if you watch, watch that um that series on uh food network mm-hmm. um where they Diners like a competition driving in that no no oh, the competition oh, one with the food truck one. yeah the one that they have with the food truck they be doing the competitions and yeah. who can make the most money and they have what's like, the name of it i don't remember the name of it mm-hmm. you know i'm not good with names <laughs> and stuff you know what i mean but but like i'm saying on those they have like uh they they concept of the food and then they name their food like mm-hmm. you know creative stuff oh. like it just come up with a name and 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 you know it's just it, it's fun man it's it's the, the the great thing about a food truck is mm-hmm. it's not as formal as if you have like a restaurant so no we have like yeah i've just pulled up the oink and no barbecue the names are pretty simple what's like give it some of them like um pulled pork tacos oh why everybody said i don't know why Chipotle tacos. Chicken i think you tacos? just picked that one no that being quesadilla oink and no chili wait wait, wait. okay so i guess this is a pork yeah pork and this um, is a tacos. um brisket and pulled pork so oh that's, that's what's inside yeah pulled pork sliders brisket sliders baby bat ribs right that's right, it right. That's it. Well, well, like I'm saying, they they was being creative with the name mm. and um and funny thing, like looking on their logo now, mm-hmm. you can see a pig and a cow. Oh, it's a pig and a cow. <laughs> yeah, like half and half. Look. Oh yeah, for yeah, real. you see it. But then this it's weird. Yeah, mm. that's weird. I, I don't understand it's that really that logo. I don't like the way that logo look. But anyway, they pretty popular and they doing big things like. You know, also another place I went to California, and California is big on that. California, big on food trucks. Food, yeah, the food trucks. I went to this. Uh, man, I can. I'm not good with with names, man. But I went to this uh beach. I think it's it's a popular. It's like a boardwalk. Mm-hmm. And uh, if yeah. my listeners, if you know, probably if you've been to California, you chances are you've been there. Because it's like one of the places that you have to go see when you get there. Uh, it's a boardwalk. And they, they when I went there that day, they had like a food truck event going on. So for like two, three miles, there was just food truck on one side of the road. Oh, for real? Yeah. So so it's like you just walk and... And then, then buy whatever food you want. And I really enjoy, you know, going to food, food trucks. Yeah. I think that's a vibe right 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 and i know you went you went recently like i'm saying Mm -hmm. so you know now nobody really want to go outside but you know as soon as this place opens up i think you know it will be it will be what why are you saying stuff and then you just stop in the middle of the conversation it will be the thing for people to do well it's always been the thing for people to do no i'm you know what i mean yeah no well i mean like it will be busy you know persons will go back to that and, right 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 mm-hmm. so, santa monica santa monica drive that's the name of the place in california that i went to and um they, the food trucks yeah and and they have a lot of um like carnival food out there mm. yeah it's it's really nice man like I, like i said like i always said it's very important for everybody to do some traveling in your life so you can experience what what is what is out there because mm-hmm. the more you the more you the more you see with your eyes is the more knowledgeable you're gonna be you know or, what i mean or the more you taste <laughs> <laughs> you, are something else, uh, you, know? you are something else but like i'm mm-hmm. saying man i'm definitely going you know what i'm gonna I'm, I'm, I'm gonna take you this is the second thing i promised you but i'm gonna take you to this place what place Winston? that i told you about the um egg roll the egg mm. roll that i told you they, but they made a crazy crazy feeling yeah it's right oh. down the street it's like a block you see what that uh that walmart is it's right across the street from the walmart oh it's pretty popular man like sometimes you you be driving by and it's like right there a line outside 
Oh, oh, for real? Yeah, it's that popular. And like I'm saying, if you put, if you're paying attention when you're driving, mm -hmm. you see the three food trucks parked on the outside. I've never seen it, because so I guess I've never. It is. I've never paying or you're never, been paying yeah. attention. Yeah, you're not. You're not. You're not. You're not paying attention, so that's why you don't know, no mm -hmm. notice it, or you're probably not aware of it. Yeah, you know what I mean. Well, more likely that's the case. I wasn't aware of it. Yeah, but it's it's super it's super popular. I've never had it before, so maybe we could try it together, and then we could talk about it on um a, a future next, podcast. Uh, yeah, and then let the people know what what we think about. What are your views, right? Definitely, definitely, definitely. But um, yeah, so. After that experience of the food truck, like I was telling you, in California, mm -hmm. that's what opened my eyes to the whole food truck thing. So when I came back home to Miami, or for mm -hmm. a lot of the other, yeah. well, I was living in Miami at the time, I, I started to do like more research on it. And I, and I started to go out more. Like whenever they had these um these events going on, I always just, uh, you know, try to slide by and see, uh, and see the type of food. Yeah, see like, what's happening. Right, right, right. And then... Oh what i like to do is when i go to these events i don't really go for the barbecue and stuff like that mm -hmm. like tr stuff that i normally like, eat like like i won't go, go for, for things that aren't you ethnic know? as they call it oh. ethnic food okay. so i would go and try something from guatemala or more and so things that you are unfamiliar with right right so so mm -hmm. i go if it's a haitian if i go to a let's say i go somewhere and there's 10 food trucks and I see like six of them serving barbecue and, and four are doing like different countries. I'm going to go to the ones and the I always buy more of stuff, different. right? Oh. So I'd buy like Asian food. Asian food is really good. Oh, for real? I They're very, very flavorful. Mm. And yeah, yeah, it's very flavorful. I love, I love that. Um, I love, like I said, Guatemala. Mm -hmm. I love their food. Um, Santa Domingo. That's another cuisine that I'm in love with. You know what I mean? And we had this thing called uh, what? Arepa. Oh, I've had it before. Oh, really? Yeah. I love Arepa. Arepa is pretty much like a... Man, what? It's like a pancake, like a... All right, boom. I'll tell you what it is. It's I similar to a pita bread. But I think they fry it. it I've seen somebody put it on a flat top. On a flat flat grill and mm -hmm. they um so pretty much what it is is it's cornmeal or maize as mm -hmm. they call it i think but wait amazing. wait 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 i'm gonna disagree with you i don't think it it's like a pita it's like a no, no, pita no. bread just, i think i'm showing i'm trying to describe oh. it the reason why i say pita bread because i was gonna go somewhere with it oh, so like, you had gave me a oh, second sorry you had, excuse you me you jumped right down my throat <laughs> no i was just saying i was so, just saying so thank you thank you for okay uh, yeah. okay Winston. so give me a second okay okay so again the arepas are made from white corn uh i think it's milk and egg or you could use water and egg you make it into a dough and then you roll it into a ball and you press it out mm -hmm. you press it flat Mm -hmm. you cook it on the flat top this is what i've seen with my own eyes that's the first time i had it i had it at this place that i was working um they uh they uh seared it on top of the grill the flat grill and then they stuffed it so they sliced it when it was cooked they sliced it and they they stuffed pork in it mm -hmm. and they served it like that oh. but i went to this uh, a food truck the other day and they had the arepas and they was they have like different filling oh for real right 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 and um i got veggies mm -hmm. and black beans and avocado but oh in the, I ain't gonna lie the to one you. that you went to the right, other right, day right and but you know I, surprisingly the the first food truck that i went to i had that too i had the arepa as well and i had it with um avocados and onions oh for real yeah right 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 yeah man the, the reaper is, is is um i don't know it's on my it it, it, it kind of reminds me of this thing that um i normally eat in jamaica it's called a bami which is made from cassava and the arepa has the same texture to me 
because on the outside it's crunchy but when you get inside it's, it's like soft. moist yeah you know what i mean and it's mm-hmm. not like bread even though i said it's like pita bread the reason why i said that because sometimes people can use pita bread and they cut it and stuff it, it with stuff you know what oh. i mean so that's the reason why i said pita bread okay. but technically it's it's more it's flat like a pita bread mm-hmm. and you do the same thing where you can slice it and stuff it but it, it's more of like a a corn corn cake corn crusted something flavor <laughs> texture i don't know how to explain it other than you know what i mean it, it, it is similar to what we call bami and um the shape is kind of like shame, pe- the shape the shape pita is bread. like a pita because yeah. it's round and flat mm-hmm. but the texture is more of like a johnny cake bami i'm trying to think of something like Fritters. a biscuit oh. oh so if you could think about a biscuit from kfc just imagine one of those biscuits super flat the same crunch it on the outside and moist and, and soft yeah, on the inside. It's just really hard to, to explain yeah. it though. And, and, and yeah, it's more, I think you guys can um, Google it. Google it. And if you can find a restaurant in your area that is serving a Ripa, then you can go there and try one. And mm. then you can be able to understand what I am trying to explain at this present moment. It's difficult because... The, um, I haven't had anything in America or outside of America that I could compare it to. So I can only compare it to something that I've had in my life Mm -hmm. that is resembling the same texture of of the Arepa. And the Arepa is from uh, South America. Mm -hmm. So like Colombia, Venezuela. So if you can find a Colombian restaurant or Venezuelan restaurant or food truck. The or food truck then you can use it like i said it's made from cornmeal the white cornmeal and it is it is really good man like it's super good if you like uh, if you're you know a vegan you probably could get a vegan version if you eat a lot of meat there's tons of tons of tons of things that you can um eat, you can get it with. you can get it with and 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 that's what's beautiful like i said that was one of the food trucks that i that is so memorable to me um i did a food truck in massachusetts uh i had a crab what do you call it now oh man it's like a crab oh hold up <laughs> you're going around having food from food trucks or yeah. you travel and get food from food trucks? I, i i like to try things man that's mm. like i tell you all the times you know i mean you know what i went to maine one time maine is all the way up north it's like closer to canada mm-hmm. it's like right next to new york upstate new york um uh and i went to this uh seafood spot like uh, like those areas maine if you go to maine like majority of the they are uh, seasonal See, oh they seasonal so they open like a certain a certain amount of time for the mm-hmm. year because it's when it when it's winter when it's winter it's not really popping up there as you you would say oh because so, it's cold because it's cold oh so it's like seasonal you know what i mean and i went there one time and i had a lobster roll have you ever had a lobster roll a lobster roll is pretty much lobster meat on a hot dog bun that's the best way i could explain it oh some people make it hot mm-hmm. some people serve it cold well I wouldn't say I've had lobster roll, but I guess I've I've had something close to that. Right, right. Lobster roll, and and then the lobster roll that they're making, their lobsters are um, I don't know the fresh? meat the meat texture like fr- is different from fresh? the ocean from like the Caribbean stuff because it's two the t- different type of lobsters, you know. Mm. So, but let me tell you something. You could get the lobster roll with like a cold sauce, like like a mayonnaise. mayonnaise 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 mayo mayo base <laughs> or you could get it with like butter you know what i mean mm-hmm. for me if i was doing that i would have switched it up butter. a little bit not well yeah you know I me mean? i would i would add a little bit more flavor to it mm. you know what i mean the reason why because it's not as flavorful as you know, like i'm for my liking like most mm-hmm. of them when they cook lobster lobster it's just salt salt and they boil it no pepper. take it out of the shell they put sometimes they put pepper and then they'll mix like like if you're doing it with the mayonnaise and stuff mm-hmm. i think it's mayonnaise what they use i'm not sure but they mix it 
they put it on top of the bread like a toasted um a toasted uh what what I just said hot dog bread like mm-hmm. a like a you foot know, long right just like when you go to subway yeah so one of those breads they put it on that mm-hmm. maybe they give you some lettuce with it some arugula or something depending on where you go oh like sometimes I said, they traditionally don't give you, right give traditionally you. it's just served the lobster roll and um chips no oh like put it now chips for some people again that who don't know mm-hmm. there's a difference between chips and fries because caribbean people call fries chips sometimes no why are you looking like that well, you got to say something the people can't well, see your faces oh uh, wait i guess some some Carib- caribbean people, people. Mm-hmm. i've heard people from the caribbean said uh chips can i get chicken and chips oh okay oh, so yeah. now i'm lying uh, no you're not welcome, lying welcome to the party <laughs> you're not lying <laughs> yeah like we do tend from the caribbean tend to say but chicken like chips, and chips you mean like chips po- are like uh, chips? N- yeah like potato chips mm-hmm. they flat and thin yeah and the fries is different it's thick and long yeah. well i, I, I understood when you said chips yeah. i know yeah. I, I, and i'm the reason why i'm saying it because i first i made the mistake oh you know, I, oh my god so I, I went and i was in massachusetts when i did this mm-hmm. and i went to a restaurant and i don't know why for some reason my mind was on that so when they say oh we got uh you want chips or fries i'm like what what's the difference with you chips or fries? yeah yo and, that's and crazy this may sound stupid but I wasn't thinking at the moment when she asked me the question because nobody ever. I never went to a restaurant that they asked you, "Oh, you want chips, chips or, fries? or fries?" You mm-hmm. know what I mean? And and I was like, "This was like I don't think that's, like probably, that's stupid though." You no, just but it's like know. ten years ago. Oh, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? And you know, back then I wasn't big on going out. I, I always been a cook. Mm-hmm. I love to cook. So, yeah. You know, like this is when I started to go out and try food. You know what I mean? So mm-hmm. when the lady said, "Oh, you want chips or fries?" And I'm like, what kind of stupid question is that? <laughs> it's the same thing. So I say, okay, just give me the chips because I'm thinking chicken and chips from, you oh, know, from, the, classic, from the Caribbean, the classic Jamaican dish, mm-hmm. chicken and chips. So I said, oh yeah, just give me the chips. She gave me some. I, I almost cursed <laughs> again. She gave me some god some um chips. Uh, potato but, chips, <laughs> and I'm like, what the hell is this? Wait. <laughs> I was thinking to myself, like, what is this? This lady gave me. So I called her over and I'm like, um, you didn't order. I this. wanted fries. She said, oh, okay. But you took this is what I, this is what I love about America. Wait. You you can go to a restaurant mm-hmm. and they're not arguing with you. If you go to the restaurant, you order something and you don't like it, you can give it back and they give you back your money. If this you can, eat, you can eat. You can eat half of the food off and give it back and and tell them that you don't like it or find a problem and they go give you back your money it's beautiful if that was the care man oh you ain't getting nothing back jamaica for example oh yeah you're not getting nothing back why 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 did you eat the food if it it wasn't wasn't they're gonna argue with you like Like, they're um, not arguing with you here you can't get your money back right 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 they're not gonna Yo, you send you. back something to the kitchen like more likely you get back the same thing right oh you go they just Jamaica set it now. up different oh yeah <laughs> yeah oh that's not cool that's For not some cool. places bro oh man but it is what it is right right but mm-hmm. anyways guys you know as like i said man maybe one day you see a food truck you know chef murdoch food truck or maybe you see like a pastry beer food truck someday you know serving authentic mm-hmm. caribbean fast food <laughs> get out of it what is it you wait 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 authentic authentic caribbean 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 food food yes no i That's thought cool. about it That's i had cool. i i had a concept in my mind but i did not think about doing it in a food truck mm. i wanted to do it like in uh malls you know what I mean? I wanted to put like a fast food joint in a mall. Mm. You know, with authentic Caribbean food. You know, mm-hmm. Caribbean flavors. Like, you know what I mean? But I never thought about doing a fast uh, food truck because, you know, I just think it's more. It's I don't, you know, whenever I thought I think about it, I think it's a lot of work. But, but you never know. But no, you're looking at it. You still feel like it's a lot of work. Yeah, yeah, oh. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, like I said, if I own a food truck, I wouldn't want to have to do it every oh. day. Mm-hmm. But like if I own one right now, just like you said earlier, 
maybe I could have like people just working in it and then I'll just be the owner of it. Mm-hmm. Maybe that's a concept. But I'm being the type of person I am, I'm I'm always You're gonna wanna be hands on. Right. Mm-hmm. I'm I'm gonna wanna be in the in the kitchen and, and, and doing these things and you know what I mean? So it's gonna be difficult for me to just sit on the sidelines. Oh. So that's why I haven't mm-hmm. really thought about venturing yet. Mm-hmm. But like when you think about there's some big events that go on in um for a lot of there, like the jazz jazz in the garden, right? Jazz in the Garden is just like uh, they rent out the Miami Dolphin Stadium, which is the Hard Rock Stadium right now, mm-hmm. and they have a big concert. It's like two days of like Aretha Franklin and all, oh, of, all of them. That's type of music that they have there, and they have like a lot of food trucks and stuff. Mm. Some of them are restaurants. People mm-hmm. come, they set up a restaurant under their tent, and they sell food. And oh, you can for make you? Mad, yeah, you can mm-hmm. make good money, man, because like it's an like a all day event so it starts like three four o'clock and it runs all the way back in the morning so you think thinking people be there for eight hours you know what i mean but the only thing i would really want to do when i at that event is um i would definitely want to uh sell drinks because you're gonna make a killing oh because but they don't allow that oh they don't allow. so if you're selling food that's it Mm. there you got somebody else that's selling the drinks and liquor Mm. but that's where the money is Mm -hmm. yeah because it's hot it's but, hot and people sitting outside in oh, the sun so but i must say your your um idea is pretty cool right that's pretty cool all right but anyways thank you for tuning into the pastry beer podcast today uh hope you enjoyed our conversation and i hope that you can join us next week for or chit chat again right, right, with right. talicia and winston Oh, oh, you was just like, you want to say something? You, you was gonna close me out before <laughs> I was finished, right? So, hey. like I said, guys, um, we really appreciate you listening. And if you listen all the way to the end, we love you and we thank you for all that support. Um, continue to support us. Follow my Instagram, Chef W Murdoch. Uh, you could follow Pastry Beer TV on Instagram and go check out my YouTube, um, Pastry Beer TV very important for you to support the thing i got a lot of things coming on like i told you the website is coming we working on the website we working on merchandise we working on a lot a lot a lot of stuff and um it's gonna be it's gonna be on and popping for um for this uh summer we have a new we working on a cooking show um where we're gonna you know just just i'm just gonna cook stuff that are dear to my heart you know what i mean and i want y'all to join me again Please subscribe to Pastry Beer TV on YouTube to get all the latest in what I'm doing. And check me out on Instagram. Y'all can check me out on Instagram at Telicia Panadero, which is T-E-L-E-C-I-A underscore P-A-N-A-D-E-R-O. And y'all can check out my, my YouTube, like, subscribe, and this will be in the bio. So, yeah, check it out. Yeah, and thank you guys and love you and have yourself a wonderful time. And remember to live, love, and be happy. And you only keep positive people around you. Have a good one. Have a good one.